I did a couple of weeks ago and it's basically to take these two trees down um, not totally sure exactly what they are to be honest with you um, they certainly remind me of the laburnum but don't think they are um, they're too straight uh, laburnum usually quite gnarly at the bottom of the trunk um, so I'm not totally sure what they are but that's what they keep reminding me of so um, pretty much dissected these um, slowly and surely they're, uh, they're actually a little bit bigger than they look the camera's a bit deceiving um, but uh, I took them all down with a pole pruner and uh, taking them down was no problem but uh, one of the stumps you'll see is well, that was a bit of a killer <laughs> shall we say but uh, you'll see that in a little while as I sort of take them down um, I don't send the tent to sort of just go mad and just cut 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 um, try to sort of think ahead a little bit and uh, sort of select the ones you want to cut first um, you know there might be an awkward branch there that you might find if, if you leave a couple of other branches in bef before you do that one they may act as a bit of an insurance policy or they may help you sort of steer it in one direction or another so um, you sort of uh, you know take your time and uh, think your way through the job as well as well as just doing the job If you're doing anything like this, do wear hard hat and visor. Um, a lot of them bits that are coming off the top aren't heavy, um, but when they come down, if that butt end, butt end hits you on the head, you're going to feel it. It will hurt. So, um, you know, just be a little bit careful. And like from this angle you can see sort of I'm stripping a lot of smaller stuff out um, fortunately the, these two trees were either dead straight or actually lent into the garden itself a little bit which made life a lot easier um, also the wind was behind them as well so I could sort of um, Pretty much 99% guarantee exactly where it's going to go. We've got to the point now where I've pretty much stripped most of the side stuff off, and it's just the uh, tall lamps really now, as you can see. And uh, they say they're taller than you think, you know. But as I said, I'm 99% sure exactly where I can drop these. But there's always that 1%. So um, just as in the insurance policy, um, I threw a rope in. Um, just, just, just as a, just a little backup policy sort of thing, you know. Um, as I said, the wind's behind, but sometimes things can actually fall into the wind in respect the wind will blow against it just as you're doing your cut if that wind drops all of a sudden it'll sort of um, whip back and uh, it could go actually the opposite direction of what you think so um, which is unlikely but it is a possibility so um, it pays to just uh, 
a little extra caution. And uh, this is the last of the tops coming off, so to speak. I've cut most of the way through it, I've cut a face cut on that one because it's a bit chunky. And uh, there she goes, throwing the heap and all. And then basically just took them, them uh, I suppose stems or trunks you'd call them, take them down to a sort of three foot lengths. And then uh, finish off. down now um, just clean up around the bottom of them and uh, bear in mind like I say, I'm getting these stumps out so uh, take any little snags out and uh, one two brambles there and there's there's the other stump there's actually two stumps um, and what I did now was uh, they're good sized stumps and uh, fairly straight so uh, I, uh, I put some notches in for the chain to, to cut into them a bit because um, uh, I knew I'm going to be pulling on these hard um, so I just thought you know save messing around chain slipping I've got the opportunity to do it and I'll just uh, get some good good deep notches in there chipping all the waste up. Um, I say I don't know what this tree is but that's some it's pretty hard wood in there actually. Um, and uh, old chipper had some big old lumps with those. You know it's only six and a half horsepower and uh, it chipped it up well. I mean that's three bags I filled up to chip. First dumps out the small of the two, and then uh, we've got this monster. Uh, you can see, you can see where I've got them cuts in, and uh, there's some rather nice big roots around it as well. And as it turned out, underneath it as well. Um, basically, what I did is I just scraped the soil back with a spade, and all them big surface roots axed my way through them. I tried to open. A gap up, sort of. So I try to take sort of two inch, three inches of root out, so you got room to play with, sort of thing, because you know you're going to have to go down there even deeper. So uh, you know, in the sort of, in the long run, it makes it easier for yourself, even though you got chop or root out. But uh, this, well, as you can see now, it is a big old stump. Um, I felt that I, I, I paid the price for this one a day later. Um, fortunately, I did this on a Saturday, so um, 
I had to, I had to have a rest on Sunday. Um, it, it, this one was hard work. This stump, um, while I remember, actually took me 45 minutes to get out. And uh, it, it seemed a lot longer, but it, it was actually, I timed it 45 minutes. Uh, I'd take my helmet off there, I was getting hot. <laughs> Um, th this axe is actually a four pound felling axe. Um, I mean, if you I imagine the ones who watch my videos do know, I do tend to keep things sharp, and I was glad this was sharp. Um, it, it made life a lot easier. If this was nailed up and blunt, it would have been a bugger to get for any roots. And then a bit more spade work. Just, uh, you know, it just clears a bit of soil out and then back on the axe. But I actually got or made a bit of a prop to go the other side of the jack. Um, it's only some three bits of batten, really. Just, just to help prop it up because I knew um, this one was going to take some getting out. So uh, the night before, I spent 20 minutes in my shed. Uh, just knocking that out quickly. This is a three ton jack and I'm I'm really pushing it. <laughs> and uh, we're getting towards the end now. These are coming out and uh, if you do watch you can see it jump a bit. And uh, like a lot, well I a lot of you know when you sort of take stumps and they're tight and you know you get to that stage where it just pops you hear a crack in a root or something like that you know it's gone you know you won and you're bloody glad when you get there as well <laughs> um, it's, it's all but out now it's just there's a few stubborn roots holding it firm but it, it's moving well Uh, as normal, the last route is always that one right at the back. Um, but uh, if you watch, you'll see the jack going. Uh, the pressure's coming off the jack. The root, the, the stump's going over. Um, just caught them roots just right. That extra bit of wood underneath the bottom of the jack really does make a difference. So uh, thank you, Mr. Greenbauer, for that tip. <laughs> it uh, certainly stops the, the jack sinking in so much. And uh, there she is out. And uh, it's a bit of a beast. And uh, I did swear a couple of times taking this out. Thank you for watching and. Uh, Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.